Scramble craft. Dude, I could be a I could be a DJ, dubstep DJ. I could do it. You know, I just gotta put my mind to it. Hat Glove Freak is back, and today we are greater than ever. As you can see, today is the day of lime green hat glove freak. Yep, um, if you are wondering why my hat keeps changing colors, guys, it's because I just recently figured out how to do it. You go to the colorizer, you can mess around with all this different stuff and turn it, your face more opaque, more transparent, more blue, more yellow, more... It's, just, it's insane. But today... Oh, no! I just... I just took off my hat. I just took off my hat. Now I don't even know how to get back to where I was. I think this was down here. That was down there. That was... Okay. That, that, that looks good enough. That's close enough. All right. So, guys, today we have some exploring to do. I have discovered something that I cannot believe I missed when I was going through my scrambling checklist. So, let's go into the scrambling room and see what I'm talking about. We have the spice sleeve. And, you know, so you would think it would make the rim button sapling. Well, that was actually a couple scramblings ago and then it made the jade ivory stairs i did not check this one i don't think i checked any of these this scrambling i i must have skipped it and only did these sides and then the one down there because check out what the spice leaf makes it makes hoppers are you kidding me i've had infinite hoppers here my whole entire life well for like a week or two and i did not know about it this is, this unlocks so many things. Hoppers are huge in Scramblecraft and they are super challenging to get. I was just flipping through the books on, on the crafting recipe um, pages. And then I was like, oh, I wonder what the hopper recipe is. It's probably hard to make again this season. Who is in my house? This guy's rude. All right, you were not invited here, mister. Leave. So yeah, and then I realized that it was a spice leaf. And Super easy thing to make and I might actually have some spice leaf in my overflow chest that I do So this is where I put like extra fruits and veggies stuff that I could throw into my tech guns food bar on the go I just made that chest the other day and I love it. It's super easy to just grab food when I need it Oh, I forgot about the scrambled recipes. We just got a new bow. Oh my <laughs> Dude, you get so many items so now that we basically have a lifetime supply of hoppers, I am excited and I'm going to be doing something cr totally crazy. Something that I'm definitely going to regret and I'm going to hate myself for, but I'm going to do it anyways. I'm going to make an entire row of hoppers on this wall and I am, we're going to stock it full of items and we're going to get all the randomness, craziness and the reason why I'm gonna hate myself after is I'm going to have to organize every single one of those chests after and it's going to take me about a month I, I don't know how long it's actually gonna take me but it's going to be hours and hours and hours and hours of sorting and sorting and sorting and sorting and I still haven't even gotten to sorting all of these items in these just five hoppers and now we have 56 hoppers so as you can tell it's going to be a huge challenge now, this is not the only thing that I found um, when I was preparing for this episode, as you might say. Um, I killed a monster in my base, and I got ghoulish boots. Ghoulish boots, that was a new recipe, so we're going to go ahead and check it out. There it is, and it completes the set! That's what I was hoping for. Oh, check it out. We have completed the ghoulish set. Trevor Gedge, you better be happy. Your set has now been completed. That is awesome. I don't know why, but I just got poison boots when I did that. Oh, no. I think they were already in my inventory, and I just pulled them there. Well, that's pretty cool. So, last episode, we actually killed the boss. We went into the Shrier Lands and killed that epic boss. It had two forms. We got a ton of good loot from it and some uncraftable items, and we love those, of course. So, I did some uh, research. Uh, not in the crafting table, in the furnace. So if I open up the book and I type in Shrier, and you can see the like the recipes that involve Shrier, and look at white sand equals a Shrier gem. This is the item that gives you a 25% chance to get the ring, which spawns the boss. Now the white sand is located in a biome from biomes of plenty. It's it's like the white beach biome or something. And it's got white sand, some palm trees. So that is something that we are going to be continuously looking for throughout the series. If we ever find one before the next scrambling, that would be amazing. I'm talking about 
infinite bosses. Well, for for the time being of the scrambling. Um, it's a one-to-one -one ratio, I believe, so that'd be pretty cool. I'm going to get the hopper set up, and I'll be right back. I don't think... I'm definitely not going to do it all 56. I don't even have enough items to fill them. But I'm going to get at least 10 hoppers or something. All right, guys, so I had a total of eight diamond chests and 30 gold chests left. I am actually running out. I thought I had a lot more than this. But we're going to skip. We're going to do every other. And we do have a ton of wooden chests, but I just... I can't go back to wooden chests, man. Not after having these diamond chests. They're amazing. And they're not even the best ones. I'm pretty sure Cody has like a crystal chest. All right. And then we're going to do the gold chest on top. Take a look, guys. It is almost completed. I have three more chests to place. This is going to be the most epic hopper freaking plantation, whatever you want to call it, in Scramblecraft history. I almost had enough to do the entire wall. Man, that looks awesome. I wish I had enough diamond chests to go all throughout the bottom. I should look up the recipe, but I'm a little bit lazy, and I just want to see these things in action. So now comes the tough part. I have to find items that are going to work pretty well. And looks like onions might be good. So do I get three? Oh, I get six. Okay, so I get six slabs per onion. So I think this might be a winner. We might just have to make a ton of these. And then the, the awesome thing is we're going to get the bonus, like, uh, random items, too. Because that's still overpowered as heck. That hasn't been nerfed yet. And check it out. I got a ghastly ingot. Do you think I have enough ghastly ingots? I'd say no. So now comes my favorite part. I just grabbed my mushroom pit. And we are going to be farming the heck out of these onions. Now, here's where things get interesting. So, I came over here with my onions. I did not get a full inventory because I needed some extra space for the random items we're going to be getting, as well as the multiple uh, brick slabs per onion. Oh my gosh, Ant-Man tier 2 piece and back-to-back -back superhero pieces? Are you kidding me? There we go. That's more like it. <laughs> did you just see that? Like, we just got three stacks before the next one. Sometimes you just get super lucky with them, and other times it's just chaos. So we're going to go ahead and put these stacks in this one. I do have a backpack with me, so we're going to add all the random I the random items into there to kind of keep the inventory looking clean. Now, obviously, this is not going to be enough to, like, keep it going forever, but Ant-Man Tier 1 Pants. That might be a new piece. We might have already gotten a new superhero piece, and it's not even from the hoppers. It's from the random items. No way. I don't know if I was recording or not. I just got a brand new inventory pet mod. Look at that. the dubstep pet. Favorite food is a note block sound blast. Right click. We got to see what sound blast does. I, I have a feeling it might destroy my base, but that's okay. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like this pet. Scramble craft. Scramble craft. Dude, I could be a I could be a DJ, dubstep DJ. I could do it. You know, I just gotta put my mind to it. Look at the I'd be a pretty cool dubstep DJ with this hat. Come on now. You know it's true. That <laughs> that is awesome, guys. I didn't even know that was a pet, so that's pretty cool to get that. Flying saddle pet, that's one of the best ones. I haven't used that in a while. I think I should use the flying saddle pet. I have not done that in a while. Oh my gosh. We could take Buttface the second. Oh my gosh. Sir Buttface the second. We could take him out on the... Oh. I accidentally did that. You gotta dance when you accidentally hit the dubstep pet. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. Stone bowl. Now this is used for extraction maybe? It says siphon resources from stray pixels. I do not have that, so that is actually really cool. Um, we are getting some pretty dang good items, man. Just from this, just from the random crafting. I mean, look how many pieces of uh, superhero armor we got. We got two tier two Ant-Man um, chest plates. Tier one Ant-Man pants. We got the uh, Devil of Hell's Kitchen mask. And was there another one? That's just insane. We got four superhero pieces in like two minutes. This thing is overpowered to the max. And I love it. No, no, no. What is it? 
Oh my gosh, we got an injection. We got an injection, boys and girls. And I think the last one of these di we took, we turned in to Super Soldier. Now, the weird thing is this thing says blindness, 100% chance of success. So I don't know if it's like a failed injection and it's got, like, it'll just give me blindness or if it's gonna turn me into some sort of superhero. I don't know, guys. I'm sure some of you know, out there know what the heck this is. I need answers, and I need answers now. Is this the God of Thunder? Is it? I don't know if I really want to take the God of Thunder, because I do like being the super soldier. But, you know, I, I don't know. Maybe the God of Thunder is more powerful. That's the one that uh, Cannibal has. Me and Cody both have the super soldier one. Dude, we already filled up an entire backpack. <laughs> Good thing I brought another. Something tells me that's not even going to be enough, though. No way. I've wanted this item for so long. It's the cursed lasso. So you know how I have the golden lasso. This is the same thing except for hostile mobs. Are you kidding me? This is awesome. I can literally pick up any hostile mob with this. I love this. As soon as we get these chests full, we're like halfway. I'm going to start not crafting them because it's just taking too long with all these random items we're getting so i'm gonna just start putting like the onions and fruit extra ones that i already have stored up places because that'll work actually i might even get rid of some of my ghastly ingots to be honest and those slabs i could get rid of some of those but like yeah I'm, I'm just going to use stuff that i already have because it's taking too long to craft this stuff but we are getting some awesome items from it as you can tell Curse Lasso, we got a Web Shooter Tier 1, which is new. I only had the Tier 2 one. Man, we are getting all kinds of cool stuff today, and I am loving it. We are the Hopper Kings, baby. We are the King of Scramblecraft. All right, everybody. Every chest has a bunch of items, and I actually went back through and recycled the items back to the top of the chest twice already. And I did it very fast without looking at the items. I didn't want to spoil anything. But we're going to let that simmer for a bit and finish off all the randomness that it has to. And we're going to go out and test this cursed lasso and just see how powerful it is. Now, if you remember right, I actually destroyed my Millennium Blade, uh, Great Blade in the last episode during the middle of a boss fight. So that was definitely uh, a mistake on my part. What? No. What happened? This is, this isn't Zarbot face the second. His hat's gone. I've n His hat's gone. The butt face is gone. Did somebody kill him and then put an imposter llama in my base? I swear this will be war. I will destroy them. I will destroy cannibal crap. I will destroy the poopy penguin. If they really did the... I, I don't know if Sir Buttface... I've never seen him lose his hat before. So, if that is what actually happened, that's a first, and it doesn't normally happen. I, I don't know. Something fishy is going on with that. If you guys know, please let me know down below. I'm sure it'd be in one of their videos if they accidentally killed it, and they're trying to cover up, so they put that there instead. There we go. We found a hostile mob. Goblin has too much health. Ten hearts reduced to two hearts. Oh, interesting. So, he has to be weak. Before I can pick him up. Let's try that now. Oh, it worked! So I guess that makes sense. You can't just like pick something up like a boss at full health and just have it captured. Um, there is another way to do that. Well, not really capture it, but I can uh, tame it using the lead pet. So this is pretty cool though. I wonder if he's still going to be aggressive when I put him down. This was my qu question. Oh, I thought he was tamed. He didn't hurt me for a little bit. Oh, I got so excited. It's like, finally a way to tame aggressive monsters. But nope. It did not work. But this is still pretty cool. I mean, I could capture Cody's son in this. You know, when he's aggressive towards me. And I could place him in here and take him captive forever. And it'd actually be his son. All right. Well, this is definitely a cool item to have. I'm trying to figure out the best use of it right now. Maybe put the imposter butt face in there. Huh? Imposter butt face. I got my eyes on you. You may be a spy. All right, guys, let's go take a look. I can't, I can't delay this any longer. I'm so excited to look in this because, like I said, I've, I've been in the chest and I've glanced at stuff, but I tried to do it so fast that I wouldn't notice anything. And I think it did a pretty good job of that. 
Like, I could maybe recall, like, three items that I saw that I was excited about. Other than that, there's going to be a ton, I'm sure. So, okay. Not enough to fill up the chest. So, this is what I meant by cycling stuff. I would just grab the stacks of the items that I was randomizing and put them back in here. But now, let's actually take a look in this chest. So, Necro Boots. We, we got a ton of armor pieces. New backpack, Rosite pickaxe. Come on, what do we get? The best item in this chest is... Slime pie. Actually, maybe this capacitator. 4 million out of 4 million. I love it when you get these batteries and they're fully charged. I'm not too sure what this one's used for. But sometimes when you... Oh, that sounds cool. Destruction wand. And speaking of sound, I swear I just heard some weird noise. Uh, destruction wand from extra utilities. Okay. Somebody's got to know some information about this. But this sounds right up my alley. Yeah. Well, let's head on. Bro. Really? Oh, it's a Pixon. Okay, wait, 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 wait. One of my backs, backpacks has that stone bowl in it. I think... Oh my gosh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's gone. The Pixon's gone. I think that was a Pixon. So I think I can siphon resources from that. I'm not entirely sure. But if I ever see one of those again, I want to test that out. All right, so chest number two. Whoa. A lot more items in here. We got a builder's wand to go along with the destruction wand. All right. Ghastly leggings. I think that's new. Oh, it is. It is new. That's awesome. All right. So this chest has some better items for sure. Poison chest plate. Oyster sauce. Come on, baby. The best item in this one. Tier 2 Ant-Man. Oh, my gosh. I love the superhero stuff. Angel ring. Another one of those. Oh, my gosh. Lyconic leggings. Are they new? They are. I'm getting all the kinds of new legs in this. Expo late. Can we go three for three? No. Looks like I had those ones. Oh, my gosh, though. Very cool. Very cool indeed. We'll check the boots. Oh, the boots are new, too. I thought I had those. And I got night leggings. That actually com might complete my second set of night armor, which would be awesome. Guys, we just got all those items in the first two chests. Look how many more we have to go. This is insane. All right, I'm just going to do a speed run. Oh, we got a diamond bowl. Yes, that is awesome. That's the better version of the stone bowl in extraction. You go through those like crazy. I'm just going to do a speed check. Oh, God. Hand ah! 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 a different kind of ring. Do you realize what this is? This is the God of Thunder. I could turn into Thor himself. Oh, my gosh. Another destruction one. I've never seen those before that I'm starting to get all these cool wands. Um, okay. I'm just going to go fast and I'm definitely going to miss some stuff that you guys are going to point out to me because I, I don't have time to look through all these things. It'd be like a three hour long video. I'm just going to take some things that look cool or might be new. We're just going to test that chest plate real quick. Oh my God. Okay. We got to go. We got to we gotta go. Crack and pick up the speed here. We got a nuke. We got a nuke. That's awesome. A mega rune knight's guard. Mega Rune. I don't know what that is, but that sounds cool, man. Ant-Man Tier 2. We got a lot of Tier 2 Ant-Man chest plates today. Holy crap. That's insane. Uh, Traveler's Backpack. This one's like, uh, okay, okay. Ooh! And that's new, I think. I don't think I had those. I didn't get the recipe. Maybe I got it as a drop once or something. Uh, Flat Transfer Node Fluids? Oh! No way. Another injection. We've gotten three brand new injections this episode. So one thing that I'm really looking forward it to finding is one of the kindred pets. So that's <clears throat> that's on the top of my list right now. And I have a feeling this is a good way to get one. But I might be wrong. We got another Grim Reaper. I'll have to check the recipe for rockets. But that's one of my favorite weapons, man. You get explosions like crazy. So if we use our injection god of thunder, we have a couple of axes that we could tame right there. Oh my. There's just so many things, man. Rainbow backpack. That's pretty sweet. Battleborn leggings. Oh, this is it. I love it. I love it, dude. Yeah, so as you, I used some of my copper coins too because I had so many of those. And that's it for that chest. Oh, I'm definitely missing some cool things. I know it. I know it. Another lightsaber. Oh! 
No way. I have all of them. I now have every single infinite Ant-Man chest plate. The, the, that is insane. I have tier one, tier two, and tier three. Cody gave me the tier three one. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know what to say about that. that. That's just, that doesn't happen. That shouldn't happen. I shouldn't be this lucky. Wasp tier two chest plate. Oh my gosh. I don't know if that, I don't think that's new, but that's still awesome to have. Another capacitator. The devil chest plate. Devil of Hell's Kitchen chest piece. I might need that. I'm not too sure about that one. Whoa, this one's actually almost full. Ant-Man tier one chest plate. HEV suit. Tier one chest plate. Look at, look at this. I was really hoping that's what we were going to get, honestly. It was one of those uh, kindred Pokemon pits. That would have been awesome. Oh, another magical snow globe. Oh, that's cool. Now I can give one of them as a gift to somebody. Oh, this one actually is full. We got the Call of the Drake. That's a boss spawner. Um, what else? We got Omni Leggings, Lightman Boots, Korean Top Tier Food. Last one. Another Destruction Wand. Well, that was ridiculous, guys. I cannot believe all that just happened. I just want to take this uh, Destruction and Builder's Wand out for a second. And see if they do anything or if I might need some more powers. I don't know what this does. Interesting. Whoa! That is cool! Oh my gosh, these are awesome. Mike would love this. I, I don't know if there's a way to um like choose where the thing goes. Like, is it on like a plane? Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Now this one's a builder's wand. So I'd assume this one would do the opposite. Did that just one hit that thing? So it looks like they don't even have durability. So that's awesome. Now this builder wand must do something with building. Like it's got to. That's what it's called. So I'm going to need some information, guys, on these injections. I'm sure somebody knows a lot more than I do about them. Um, if I use the God of Thunder and the Black Panther, will I keep my super soldier and I'll turn into all three or will it erase my super soldier? And which one is the most powerful from that mod? I'm sure one's a little bit better than the others. We got a stray Pokemon over there just climbing our walls. Um, <laughs> so let's come over here and take a look at our superhero armors. So for the tier one, we have upgraded our chest piece to the infinite chest piece. That is awesome. Stop! Oh, it's a brand new statue. Golden clunk head statue. Let's put this thing right there. Yeah, I love the, how they all have their own sounds for the statues. All right, um, what was I doing? I was in my superhero armors. So the tier two one we have right here. So the tier two infinite piece is right there. And the tier three one is actually on our armor stand out there. But that is amazing to have all three of those chest pieces. Infinite pim particles. So... That's pretty cool. Uh, our developer is still working on getting us the permissions. We're not entirely sure what's going on with that. We got the wasp right there. We already had the chest piece, so that's okay. We're missing the legs. If we get that, we'll have an entire set. Well, let's put the... I'm going to keep the injections in my inventory. Well said, let's put them in that chest, but... I don't trust my uh, friends on the server. Cody, my brother, and Cannibal Crab, my friend. I don't know if I trust them, to be honest. Um... They might find out and Cannibal might get jealous. He wants to be the only God of Thunder and then he might steal it. And then Cody might want to be the God of Thunder so he'd steal it. All right, well, let's go put our new armor pieces away. I'm very excited to see if we completed any sets. So the Amethyst, we actually did not complete the set, but we are now one away. All we need is that chest place. And you know what? This is a good one to do the fan of the day for. So let's go ahead and do it. So congratulations to... Zappy Ninja, you are the fan of the day. Congratulations, my friend. There you go. Welcome to Scramble Craft the Series. And now we have a couple more pieces to put on. The Ghastly Leggings. Where is Ghastly? Ghastly, Ghastly, Ghastly. Oh, didn't find the Ghastly, but I did. Wow, actually, I found the Ghastly. And it's right next to the other new piece, which is the Lyconic. So we'll put the Lyconic legs on that. The ghastly legs over here, neither of them are a full set, but they are both one away now. We need the chest plate for the ghastly and the boots for the Lyconic. 
Congratulations. That is awesome, man. All right, everybody. If you want to be the next fan of the day, you know what to do. You got to comment down below. Hash the secret hashtag of the day. And actually, today, there's three of them. Because I'm going to leave it up to you guys what uh, superhero I should become. You can do hashtag Black Panther. You can do hashtag Thor. Or hashtag Super Soldier if you want me to stay Super Soldier. Um, I have all three of the injections now. And <laughs> I'm just super excited to have them. We can literally become whatever you guys want me to. And I will do it. Uh, and then also make sure you're subscribed with notifications on and you give the video a big fat thumbs up thank you guys so much for watching bye